Shut your door, though, okay? Because your dad's doing something. What's up, guys? Get this shared out as usual. So we've started a new YouTube channel. Um, I got a video. I was, was going to have it posted today, but it did not. Um, how do you say? It didn't, it didn't um, process correctly. So the video was screwed up and I had to redo it. <laughs> That, that uh, might have been because Scarlett was messing with your computer when you real? walked out. She, like, she hit the keyboard and did something. <laughs> she didn't do that with this last one recently, did she? I hope not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we started um, a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, and an Instagram for Free Will Awakening. Uh, we have two videos recorded for it uh that we're gonna be putting out uh one of them is is finishing processing right now so that will be up uh in the morning so on your drive to work you can go ahead and listen to that i've got rev brian <laughs> norris rev the power button. Yeah, you're the oh crankiest baby in the world grumpy baby <laughs> why is it this she was fine until you turned the live stream. I know. And she always does. <laughs> or if we're at Rev's house and it's one in the morning. <laughs> uh, luckily, that was only one time, though. Um, but, yeah. So, I already got some stuff going on on Instagram. And uh, that gets shared to Facebook. Um, it's going to be more of a place where you'll see the freedom type stuff and the healthy stuff. Um, one cool thing we put on there is I did a uh, healthy barbecue sauce. So there's no like, I mean, there's a lot of honey in it, but there's no like added sugars or any shit like that. So uh, that's something you can use. And it's cool too, because then you can make your own barbecue sauces. I don't know about you. It tastes way better than regular barbecue sauce. Yeah, it does. It, it, that's one of my big things is that like I love barbecue sauce, but I, it's like so many of them just don't quite do it for me, you know. So being able to make your own makes a huge difference. When I eat barbecue sauce, I feel like garbage after. I feel great after eating your barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big thing. It's just uh, you know, okay. God, baby, <laughs> just eating eating healthier food makes you feel better. Okay, finishing getting this shirt up. I'm gonna hit the alumni group and then we'll be good. Um, I gotta give Dave Harrington a call back. He called me yesterday and I've been running around all damn day today. Um, it's Memorial Day, so I wanna talk about some stuff with that too. There we go. That shit is all shared out. So let's see. All right. So we got Rich. What's up, man? How is your uh, how's your bicep doing? I thought you were going to fly up here and help me water the garden and stay away from that AC. <laughs> uh, Missouri Survival and Outdoors. Subscribe. Thank you. Casey, what's up, man? Robert, how's it going, man? Um so, before I get going, uh, ooh, that looks like shit again. All right, you must have been breathing on the on the camera again. Yeah, that's what I do whenever I ask you to your computer. <laughs> like, how can I piss off Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> um, so pinned pinned in the the comments is the link to the Free Will Awakening YouTube channel. You can't find it if you're trying to search for it because there's no videos on it yet. But tomorrow there will be one with uh rev brian norris it's like an hour-long video and i really fucking liked it i was listening to it today and i'm like man this is some good shit um what is up max how you doing man, <laughs> Hi, max. And also i got to do a video on max max's channel max's path go subscribe there check out that video revs in there as well uh casey said i need more soap i'm almost out did you put any on the website uh no but we will we have not yet I just I just made cedar soap for Casey because oh, I remember okay. he asked about that. Is that the one I used? That's the one that's over there sitting is that, there right now. Is that the one I used? 
You use the cedar one, but you use the cold process oh, one. Oh, okay, all right. And she, honestly, I like the hot process more. I yeah. love she really likes the um yeah, she really liked the way the, the cedar smelled on me too. Yeah, it like so, stuck to his beard really well. Yeah, and I, I want to throw a party soon. Um so hopefully you just come soap come party. Here. Soap party. <laughs> Free will we're all gonna use soap <laughs> soap and simunitions party. <laughs> I'm getting a couple of sim- yeah, Max, check this out. My buddy um blue line fire and strain, he called me the other day. He's like, Hey, I'm not using my sim guns, you wanna buy them? So fucking that's that that visualization shit, man. I I was like, I'm gonna fucking own those. I'm just gonna buy them from him. And then he calls me and sells them to me. Yeah, a good deal too. Um, the interview turned out great, Casey. How did you go through all that soap array? My wife and son. <laughs> nice man. <laughs> yeah. So um, we just just go in there and wait. Yeah. Just play. Just play, baby. Just keep playing. Or I'll make you go to bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just got back from North Carolina, which was fucking beautiful. You're supposed to say something now. Uh, sorry, I'm drinking my 8 p.m. iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, North Carolina is fucking gorgeous. Like, yeah. we're in the hilly side. And um, one thing I will say is sometimes there's like the tree. It's so thick with vegetation going into some of the, 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 the neighborhoods and stuff that it's like, you feel kind of like trapped there, but then you get out and you see the big plains of the hills. You feel like you're on a roller coaster all the time with all the hills. I'm so used to flat Florida that every time we go down the hill, I was like, (laughs) well, it's funny too, because Ashley has barely been outside the mm-hmm. state she like flew from illinois barely to been Florida. outside look i'm just <laughs> outside the state i know but you didn't say that i said that no you're making everyone think i'm a hermit <laughs> whatever she flew from illinois to florida and basically stayed there until she met me so yeah. i took her you know yeah uh, tennessee yeah uh, so Georgia, I guess a little like Alabama for a corner and then Tennessee and then, um, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, for prepared Patriot. And yeah, we're like, we're like looking around that area that they're in. We're like, God, tr- fucking Florida f- feels like a, like a shithole trailer park compared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Florida just kind of looks a little dirty. <laughs> yeah. Like people are like, do not give a fuck about their lawn out here yeah. compared to like, and even just, our fish are on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, prepare Patriot did a fucking fantastic job with their force on force class. Um, you know, that's coming from like, well, she didn't get to see any of it. She's watching the baby, but like myself, Max, uh, weapons, junkie, Evan, uh, Brian Norris, we we're all role playing. We'd all done the fight attack for response. We're all like, yeah, if you like the fight, you will also like this class. Uh, and the scenarios, like you wouldn't, there, there may be some similar lessons, but walking into a scenario, it, they're totally different. So it's like, it, it just feels like a, a brand new situation. Um, it was a it was a fantastic class. They they truly blew me away with how well they did there. Cause I knew they were good, but like I didn't know that they were that good. They did a fine job. They kicked ass. And Casey totally kicked ass there. Like I was like, fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> like even um uh Rev and I were talking, we're like, I don't know if I would have done as well as he did. He fucking slayed it, especially when it came down to shooting people. He really is good at shooting people. <laughs> he's shooting motherfuckers under cars. He's like, he's coming out fast. He's moving. Yeah, I don't, like, I'm pretty sure Casey never got shot in the heart. And there's some scenarios where a lot of other people got shot. And he did not get shot at all. So, fucking great job, Casey. And when I start doing my force on force classes, I'm going to have him help me with that. Anything for you to stop yelling, Kevin. Let's see. Fucking nice man. Oh, Robert. Yeah, he, Robert got some soap. Ashley, I'm loving the soap you sent with my slang. How do I get more? We will be posting them shortly. Um, we. It's kind of like we're, we're trying to figure out if we're going to do big batches, um, if it's going to be like multiple cents or whatever. Yeah. We will be putting that up soon. Um, but it's kind of like we got to do it right the first time. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the labeling and stuff. I just got these boxes to put the soap in but 
Well, we might be doing something totally different. Yeah. Yeah. We, we just have to figure that Stuck out. In there. And there's probably going to be a wait on some of them because it's going to be like, you know, it takes time for it to get made. Or we might just put like a, uh, you know, like a, a week or two delay on you getting the yeah. soap because we're making it like we're making our all our shit to the order. Yeah. Well, I have a bunch made right now. It's just trying to figure out how we want to package it up and stuff. Like I did mm -hmm. this with the cricket, but the cricket takes too long. I did. I misaligned it and it looks bad, but yeah, but packaging is a lot harder than you think it would be. They're like, we don't fucking care. We're not, <laughs> we're not chicks. We don't care. Put it in a sock. Put it in I a Ziploc bag and send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, we'll be posting that shortly. Um, Andrew, did you see my email on Force and Force? Dude, I have been running around since I got back. Today has been like the one fucking day I've had. Uh, so I will read that. But no, I have not got a chance to look at. It. Like I, I got back. Amelia started teaching, and then we had to go do dog sitting and whatever. And we like. Today has been my one free day, and I've been trying to get like social media shit squared away, and I still got so tonight. Um, so, so Andrew, when are we moving to North Carolina? Hey, Casey, no, Max, you come to us. <laughs> Max, no offense, but fuck. <laughs> <Florida. laughs> I know it's hot, man. I was waiting on, on, uh, on Hadley over there to turn 18 and we can, we can move. But then again, Casey's got a point when he's like, Hey, I got family here. I can't fucking go. I got family here too. So I think we need uh, like a, a prepared Patriot fucking Florida chapter, or maybe I'll start my own thing, but I don't fucking, I don't care. Um, either way, we need to have communities like, like prepared Patriot has that local one. We need that everywhere. And it should be a thing where you can go from Florida to North Carolina to Tennessee, all the way up to Alaska and have a place to stay. Like, I'd really, I really want that. So that's kind of like vision I talked with. Uh, um, I talked with Rev about, I don't know which video that's on or if it's even in a video, but that, um, that's what I want in the future. That's what I'm looking for. Um, let's see. It was comparable to the fight. But with different scenarios, that's high fucking praise you have taken if you have taken the fight. Yep. Casey even smokes you. Yeah, Casey, is, his line in the sand is there, man. He's like, he knows what it is. And he is a uh, he, he is uh, decisive as fuck. He, <laughs> he fucking zippered my ass from my belt up to my face. <laughs> like, I didn't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> Uh, Robert, a, me a mix of what you're making would be awesome. Okay, so so like different soaps all in one thing. Because, yeah, that's what we're thinking. We'll just sell like a big package. Plus, it's like shipping is going to be fucking expensive. You're buying. Just. Okay. Yeah, especially if someone like orders like one bar of soap and it's like. Yeah, you spend as much on shipping as you do the soap. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're like, we should just send like a box of like. I'll send um, you a whole soap loaf. Eight or something. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like literally a whole loaf. Yeah. I like that. And what? How many? How many bars are in a loaf? Do you get? I think like eight or ten. I have to count. I yeah. Don't know. Okay. So like, if it was eight, and so we just do eight in a couple different cents. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then just like, uh, be like, hey, we got four loaves ready to go or whatever. Yeah. Monk do a limited edition when it's done, okay. Yeah, uh, I like the limited edition soap idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I like that too. Like a mold, especially, would be really cool. Molds would take longer though, so like that to be soap mold, yeah, clock that would have shower to be, gun soap. Yeah, that would have to be a cold process soap oh, okay. to fill the loaf, I mean, the mold correctly. Oh, okay. I really enjoyed the conversation with Rev. It was long, but great conversation. I think he did a gear interview with James a while back, didn't he? Yeah, he did a couple. He did um, one virtual, and he did, uh, I think, 
one in person and then another one where he's talking about a, one of his rifles. And it's funny as he told me about it, he's like, you know, I, he was like, I was trying to kind of asking questions that like I know the answer to. And then people got on me super hard about it. I was just trying to keep the video going. <laughs> but yeah, even that I thought it was a good video. Rev is so fucking awesome, man. All those people up there are great. Rev letting letting me bring uh, you know, my baby and, and this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really <laughs> so high maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> snores loud. I don't snore. Eats all the shredded cheese. <laughs> I only do that at our house. <laughs> she, she, yeah, if you come into my house late at night, it's not me you have to deal with. It's Ashley eating shred cheese over the sink. <laughs> no, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, no, for real, fucking awesome people up there. Uh, Rev and his whole family are absolutely awesome to us. Um, but yeah, uh, Max. Okay, brother, family is calling. Uh, give me a call tomorrow afternoon, and I'll tell you what I was thinking on the EDC backpack. All right. Yeah, and feel free to uh, text me when you're free, too. Baby, it's okay. I gave her so much watermelon. I'm the watermelon monster. Ah. Might have to move this into there again. <laughs> but she makes great soap, so she's a keeper. Yeah, she's a keeper for other reasons, too. <laughs> no, you're only with me for my soap. Uh, I was like... It's okay because I'm only with you for your car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to lose her when I lost my 2011 Dodge Avenger. <laughs> but, I, but I got 98 uh, 4Runner and she just stuck around. So. <laughs> Rich, it's good to see you openly admit you snore. Your story. I don't well. snore. He snores. I don't snore. Yes, you do. You're a fucking liar. I don't snore. <laughs> No, she does snore though. She, it's not loud. It's just like. I'll videotape it and post it on no. Instagram. <laughs> you did videotape it one time. You yeah, weird and, and she still calls me a fucking liar. Never been called a liar in my life. God. <laughs> Hi, Except you. There, there's one thing in Rev's interview where I admitted to lying, and that's I had to lie to my uh, my stepdad to get him to let me out of school. <laughs> he called me called me out of school so I could go enlist in the Marine Corps without any of my family's knowledge. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't remember what I told him, but basically, if I had one more absence, I was gonna fail that trimester. Mm -hmm. So I just had I had my stepdad call me out of school, so I had an excuse to to leave, and I went and enlisted. <laughs> it's pretty funny. My dad was gonna kick me out of the house and shit, and um, if I enlisted, but I just did it. And that's the thing too. If there's something you want to do, don't don't let other people hold you back. Just do it. You know, if you're still fulfilling your obligations, your priorities. You can you can do whatever you want. You know, like I have my obligations to my family here in this house. And then, um, then my chosen family, all my students, you know, and then, um, after that, you know, um, uh, I got, I got my blood family and yeah, but yeah, if you're fulfilling your obligations, you're good. Do, do whatever you need to. Jesus. Fuck. Why does she get so pissed off at this time? <laughs> Anyways, I got a, um, Got a new rifle. Um, I can't show it on the live stream, but it's a uh, I got arrow precision, dude. And this, I swear to God, visualization works. Like uh, I know Rich and I briefly were talking about in the team room, um, you know, the way the universe kind of works. We, we talked about it for just a second, but if you visualize the shit that you want exactly how it's gonna be, you will get it. <laughs> because I, I visualized this specific upper, this bull carrier, and this specific charging handle. And fucking Aero Precision sent me an email like two weeks later that it was all on sale. Like, <laughs> the, the out of like the six items, those were three of them. But anyway, so I got a 12 and a half inch um, upper from Aero uh, with a carbon length gas system. And I the Atlas handguard, that's not the super wide one, but the, the smaller, narrow one. And... Um, in flat dark earth cerakote um which i don't really care about but i was like man that's kind of cool i kind of want that um 
the breacher medium charging handle and then i don't know when the nicer bowl carrier oh, group shoot. don't press the power button i know <laughs> it's okay no why are you just don't press that button it's okay i know she's going through a phase where it's like when you tell her no she freaks out or if you take <laughs> something from her it's like end of the world <laughs> but um yes so i got that upper charging out on bulk here and then um a psa lower now they sent me the wrong fucking brace on it i want the other um brace from magpul the one that's like a, a triangle i think it's like bsl or something i don't know but there's one that i don't like and the other one i love and so I got a uh, Palmetto lower with that brace and then a um, Holosun 515CM and a uh, um, fucking Magpul Pro irons. And then um, I went with a VTAC mount and I put the um, power tack light in the M5 that I had previously had on my AK. I put that on there, going to continue to test that. Um, although I would say just buy the M5G2, but let's see how good the M5 does. And I'm going to probably put an M5G2 on it later. Um, it didn't fit that mount, though. It did not fit the VTAC mounts because it's like it does either a 1 inch or a 0.85 inch uh, diameter. And so what I had to do is I just wrapped in electrical tape so that it was thicker. And I climbed it down on that. So we'll see if that holds. That might be a little getaway that actually works. But not suggesting you do that. I suggest you get proper light and preferably a weapon-mounted light, um, like one that's designed to be weapon-mounted. Uh, but we'll see if it works. I've been trying. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Casey, I will be taking the class this month. Jerry is taking. Right on. Uh I think it's carry pistol what? two. When? This month. I forget. Is it this month or is it or is it July? I Wait, don't remember. Jerry from Prepared Patriot? Yeah. Yeah, he's coming down. Oh, I never got to meet him even though I was up there. Oh yeah. He wasn't he he wasn't able to make it to like the other events. Uh mm -hmm. yeah. He was at the live stream though. Oh yeah, I guess we on their live stream. And then they fucking took pictures of me and put blurry stuff like I'm showing my dick to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking assholes. <laughs> um, Rich, uh, my chain. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Casey, you're going to have a lot of fun with carry pistol, too, especially like um, getting to try out a couple other like techniques for shooting under stuff. And, um, you know, the, the movement, it, it's it's good fun. You'll like it. Um <laughs> my chainsaws were jealous of the snore <laughs> and he put forth in the team room. Oh, that I did in the team room. <laughs> so apparently I was snoring a lot in the team room. That doesn't surprise um, me. That doesn't surprise me, especially. <laughs> it was a fucking... I've had to wake him up at times because I'm like, I can't take it. Just... <laughs> yeah, she had to leave when my dad was here because she couldn't stand the sound. <laughs> It wasn't just the snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, I have been trying to stay away from buying more gear, but damn, with all the sales coming out last week, it's hard not to. Yeah, I, I understand that. You know, I'm happy that I can walk into a gun store or look at a website and go, nah. I mean, you always need more ammo. You always need, um, you know, probably some more magazines to have some brand new ones. Like I ordered 10 new um, Air 15 mags. I like the Gen 2 P mags. Uh, but yeah, don't feel pressure to buy shit. You know, if you just take more train classes, you're way better off. Um, I had to get, I got that rifle because I figure it would be, I'm trying to find a lightweight rifle for female sin to use. Also, it could be a primary rifle for her. Like, she can handle the fucking musket, the M16A4. She can handle it, and that's actually, she likes shooting that one. <laughs> but, you know, if I can make it easier for her, especially if she were holding a baby, you know, had to work around that, that'd be a good thing. Um, and uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I was, gonna, I was thinking about doing night vision with that gun, keeping it a little bit shorter, keeps the weight uh, back. But we'll see. 
Rich, a video chat to chat with my grandbaby all the time just to drive the parents crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Scarlett likes it when we pull people up on FaceTime because, I don't know, she's like, she likes the voices, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I think so. And, and it's like, she's like, whoa. Like, yeah. <laughs> how's that work? That's funny, though, because my dad tries to video chat me literally every time at the worst time. <laughs> so we still get to we still make it happen, but it's usually like it doesn't happen when, when he wants it to. So I think it's on the 26th of this month. Oh, OK, cool. Yep. The training classes is what I'm saving for and ammo for classes. Right on. Yeah. And, a, you know, a, a good, easy thing to do is just drop the fucking money on the class. Just do that and then drop the money on the ammo. You, you know, like just just take the hit and you'll probably, you know, most people can just not buy a certain thing or two and make it happen. You know, if we like really analyze our budget, there's actually a lot to work with generally. Um, that we like go to, you know, eating out or, you know, fucking bang energy drinks or whatever, you know. Yeah, um, when you make coffee at home for like 50 cents. Yeah, but that's like what I did at the beginning of the year. I dropped a couple grand on. Stop it. At least that's a happy noise. <laughs> yeah, but I dropped a couple grand on specific classes I wanted to take. Thanks. Bless you. And then there's more on the list, which I'm thinking what I might do is I might just drop the money and then just be forced to come out with new nylon gear products. Ashley's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, fucking John Willis does that. Like he'll he'll spend like he has, a, you know, he makes millions every year, but he'll spend all his money and bring his account down to zero. So he has to yeah. make it happen. Well, it's also one thing if you're spending money to make more money. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like and yeah, it's an investment in yourself is the biggest thing. Like, yeah. like if you haven't had like a, a really good life changing class, like it's like, it's unbelievable what, what you're actually missing out on. And just the experience too. Like, I mean, you know, if I had the the chance to go tour Europe and, and Asia and go to all the places I want to and have it be funded and have all this great experience or to go do a week of training, you know, at whatever classes I want, I'd be like, yeah, fuck Europe. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I'm like, let's go see the world. No, the world sucks. And right now it's being run. It's being ruined way worse. Yeah. All right. right. Um, now, Memorial Day. So, um you know, because we're kind of talking about the sales and stuff. Uh, I think I think we all realize what Memorial Day is actually about, but it's good good to have a little reminder, and for y'all to remind others too. Um, but Memorial Day is supposed to be uh, you know remembering fallen uh, fallen soldiers and Marines and airmen and sailors. Um, so, like for me, the one I always think about is Doc Beecham. Uh, he died was in Afghanistan. He was our only uh, KIA there. Uh, he sucked up an IED blast, had his limbs blown off, fucking terrible. Uh, but I think from from my understanding of what had happened, he actually absorbed some of the blast and saved a couple other people because, you know, it's kind of like his body shielded it from others. But it, he died quick, um, but... Terrible thing. Uh, gotta remember them. Um, even like the veterans who commit suicide at my, my old platoon sergeant, um, Sassar and Reber lost him to suicide. Dark place. Uh, we all have friends that go there. I, I know even I've, I've been there in that dark place. It sucks. Uh, like, don't forget them. Give them a call every now and then. Uh, they'll gladly, they'll really appreciate it. You know, we all go through different chapters of our lives uh, where we go through, you know, like ups and downs. You know, like I got some friends who are getting divorced right now and that sucks. It's not fun. Um, but but a good thing for that is remind them that it will get better. Like I now can say every day of my life that I fucking love my life because like, you know, like I got Ashley, I got my kids, I got all my students. Uh, all my all my friends that I've met through training, like I get to do the coolest shit in the world. Um, 
and it's like it's never been better. I know there's gonna be a hard time eventually, but like right now, I fucking love it. Um, but yeah, just remember, remember the falling guys. That's real important. That's what today is supposed to be about. Not about barbecuing or going to the beach or anything like that. Now, um, free will awakening. So, did a video with Rev and got to hear a lot about the Christian side. Um, that will be going up tomorrow. It's an hour long and I'm going to break it up into some segments and it'll be like, not like part one, part two, part three, but like, we'll take this part right here and make that a video and this part, make it a video and this part, make it a video. And we'll probably make it into a podcast as well. Um, but that will be going up and I really hope you guys watch that. You will certainly enjoy it, especially the perspective that he gives. Again, pinned in the comments is the link to that channel. And uh, pinned in, or excuse me, at the top of the description, it's the YouTube, the Facebook, and the Instagram. You really want to be on that Instagram, too, because we're going to be heavy on uh, posts there. We've been doing a lot better on Instagram posts. Uh, then we also did a video with um, with Max, Max is on, Max is path, who was in here earlier, and Weapons Junkie uh jody so there there's another good video there and in that one more talk about like the direction that the world is going or well it's especially that america is going and what should be done about it so you you guys will enjoy both those I'm, I'm really liking the videos that we've been making and the content we've been putting out for that uh some of it may feel a little conspiracy theory but like you'll like it and then she put out one today about um, what's the thing um, antidepressants and and fish and stuff. Conspiracy theorists aren't conspiracy theorists anymore. They're just foreshadowing, or what's the word? Um, they're just not foreshadowing. Predicting. No, it's like for Analyzing. sure. No, it's not foreshadowing, but it's something like that. It's just like <laughs> just giving out trailers. I don't know something like that. <laughs> Give me out trailers. That's yeah, it. You you know what I mean. <laughs> it's something like that. But so, what did you see in that that thing that you posted today? Oh, I posted on the Free Will Awakening um, uh, Instagram, and it's all about how um, through us dumping all the um, human waste into the ocean, there's literally prescription medications going into the ocean through the waste, and the fish are absorbing it, and they're finding. Um, tons of different prescription medicines in the fish, like in their blood, especially antidepressants and um, blood pressure medications. So that's crazy. Think about it. That's the food we eat, absorbing all these different medications. Oh, what's up, man? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I was just, I saw uh, Dave H. Uh, I know, from it's hard to read it. I know, I always do. Yeah, so, um, the Put up some YouTube content, man. Also, I'm going to send you some pictures of sewing machines and shit that I use. But uh, Dave is a, I know, like, I'm going to forget some, but Tactical Response alumni and Greenline Tactical alumni. Uh, and he is making slings that have a um, that have a medical pouch built into them. It's called the Immediate Action Sling. I'll be posting a review on it. Um, but so fucking doo-doo trains making gear. He's going to do good things. Uh, subscribe to him on Instagram. Um, and then I already I, I showed the other guys your stuff. You may want to get in contact with those guys I told you about up at North Carolina. But, yeah, thank, thanks for joining us, man. Now, Rich. Oh, wait. It was my total game. Oh, okay. Uh, Robert, Fighting Pistol was my total game changer. Right on, man. Yeah. Uh, fantastic class. It Like, I thought I had a lot of things, but that changed a lot of things for me too. Uh, met mindset wise, like gun wise, there were some tweaks, but like mindset wise, that was that was revolutionary. Um, Rich, I dare say, with your luck and my luck, that World Tour would have a hidden package of training with the SAS. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe saying yeah, if I means- if I went I toured Europe that we get to train with um, British special forces, but they're still British. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, Volition Threads, that's who's joining us right now. Um, hey, also look at, um, there's a lot of SEO shit you want to get down. So look at in the bottom of all, well, look at my, uh, all the descriptions of my videos, how I have all the links there. And in the bottom, I have the address there. And then look at how like the about of my channel is. Do your shit that way from the beginning. And um, also work on SEOing your website if you haven't already. Very important. Uh, fucking like I wish I had done that day one. I'm working on a YouTube channel. Glad to be here. Yep. Thanks for joining us, man. Yeah. And just try to put out like three videos a week. Okay. You can shoot them all in one day and schedule them to post, but three videos a week. Like just start there and you will get m much further ahead. But, uh, yeah, I want to do more. Um, I want to do more gear reviews of other people's stuff too. Um, mm -hmm. like we got, I got some good SOE gear I want to review. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's one of those things where like, I'm going to be making shit too. And I'll probably put a slit or a medical thingy on my sling or my stock eventually too. But it's like, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's, you know, just because I make shit doesn't mean I shouldn't be reviewing it. I actually want to do a review of, um, of Jacob, Jacob Beach's sling, um, Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. He has a cool sling. Um, and Max had it with him, but I didn't get a chance to do that video. Yeah, no problem, man. First, I thought you were Dave Harrington because I saw Dave H. Yeah, like, I was like, I was like, fuck, like I need to give Dave him a call Harrington. back. <laughs> <laughs> he called me the other day and I still haven't called him back. I've been running around like crazy. Although, I mean, well, nah, it's probably going to be too late. I just got to make sure I call him in the morning. <clears throat> but yeah, so free will awakening. So we're going to try to like do some more exposing of stuff like that. Like the chemicals in the waters that are, that are fucking with our food supply. Um, she found an app. What was that app called? Clear. Yeah. And there's also another. Do you have my phone mind? So basically it's oh, an I'm app sorry. where you can look at the ingredients on food and you can pull up all the, the studies that show like what shit in there is fucked up and poisonous. And some yeah. countries don't even allow it. Like there's a lot of stuff in our food. That's totally normal to us. That's like banned in the European Union. Um, I mean, you also get the EWG's Healthy Living app, which is another one for that mm -hmm. kind of thing. You know, like we're not perfect about this stuff yet, but like we're trying to move in the right direction. Well, it's, it's yeah, it's it's like there's so much once you start looking into all of this that either way you're never going to be perfect. Like this is just the society we live in. Like we're. Mm -hmm. This is just the way we've been living for yeah. it's kind of like the past it, like 20 years. And thinking about it right now, it's kind of like they're trying to poison your body, your mind, and your soul. Like, well, imagine what it does to you if you're eating fish that have antidepressants in them, you know, like a perfectly yeah. like normal person. If you're and watch the video and how they explain um like the average amount of drugs found in the fish were 17 different types of drugs. And that's insane. Like, yeah, you'd think you'd be safe catching a fucking fish and eating it. Yeah, you'd think like, oh, that's natural. But now it's like, yeah. it's almost like the only thing that's like safe is if you go find grass-fed, pasture-raised um, beef and chicken. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> well, even then, it's like, you know. The, the, I'm sure we'll find the something water, about that too. The water falling out of the sky that, that, that hits that grass is fucked up because it was in our sky. Yeah. You know? And there's even the stuff like um, now they're finding tons of microplastics in our lungs. Um, there's a bunch of studies about that. We should post about that on Free Will Awakening. I want to do more research on this stuff first. Like I like you talked about, we're not perfect. Like you really do have to dive into this stuff because no one's talking about it, which doesn't yep. make any sense. Like we should all be like, oh my gosh. Like <laughs> yeah, a big part of it too is that they like just like. Um, Oh, man, it's like if you try to pull up historical facts, Google blocks it. You'll find that they do the same thing when you're trying to pull up stuff about like health. The Google blocks it. So it, like you can search one thing on uh, Google using like the Chrome browser. If you go to Brave and go to DuckDuckGo, totally yeah. different results. Yeah. Well, learning about this stuff too, that's how I got so into making the soap because like even today I was like, the biggest thing I've been looking into today is how to legally label my soap for sale. And um, so homemade soap 
is just saponified oils. So it's oils that are saponified through mixing them with lye. And that kind of soap is like barely regulated because it's, it's just oils, you know, and mm. some like essential oil additives, like the FDA doesn't, um, monitor it. What's the word? Regulate, regulate. it yeah. or anything because it's, it's a simple thing. Whereas like a lot of the soaps at the store, those are more regulated because they're considered synthetic detergents, not soap. Yeah. Which is like, so it's not better <laughs> that it's more regulated. Yeah. It's like, it, it, it's the shit that gets that is hormone blocking uh, or excuse me, hormone disrupting. It's, it's, it's not meant to go on your skin necessarily. It's synthetic. Like, yeah. Well, the other sad thing is like, once you start getting into all this stuff too, it's so much more expensive to buy the, organic food to buy the pasture raised mm -hmm. um chickens to buy the pasture ra raised um eggs to buy the grass-fed beef to buy the homemade soap because coconut oil is expensive oh, <laughs> coconut yeah. oil is so expensive that's so why i'm like we need to sell some more soap so i can buy some more coconut <laughs> oil <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah i mean it's definitely a hard thing to do right now because it's like Things are more expensive to start living a non-toxic lifestyle. And also it feels like as you're diving into all this stuff, it just feels like it's everything. Like it's everything around you and it becomes really overwhelming. But if you can make little changes, mm -hmm. like you're going to make such a big difference there. Like, yeah. for example, you probably take a shower every day. So what products you're using on your body are a pretty big deal. You drink water every day. So, um, we got the Alexa Pure. Yeah, getting a filter is going to mm -hmm. make a huge difference. Yeah, um, you you can get the Berkey. The reason why we went with Alexa Pure is the the filter lasts longer and it also does uh it does more. Where the Berkey you have to get a separate filter for like the fluoride and stuff. Yeah. Um. So the Alexa Pure was like an all in one package, and we were able to support Infowars using. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can just keep really start chipping away at things until like you're yeah. way better off you know yeah, so like yeah so like the well i would probably start with the water you drink you know the soap is a big one the food you eat um and then i mean that's a, that's that's like pretty much covers what you're you know the shit you're putting in your face and rubbing on your body right and now i'm also like well what about the clothes we wear is like <laughs> do the clothes cause damage too i don't know you know but uh because i haven't even looked into that Let's see. Robert said it's proven that saltwater fish uh, are full of plastics on the microscopic level. Yeah. Wow. Fucking. See, like, we should be freaking out about this. Like, this is our food that we're eating. Yeah. And, like, that's, like, it's just, that's a big thing about Free Will Awakening is that's how I felt. Like, I felt like my mind was blown once I started yeah. learning about all this stuff. And that's kind of, like awakening like how yeah. that came about it's kind of like uh you can relate to alex jones when he's screaming and fucking smacking the yeah. like, god damn it you fucking people need to listen to me i had moments like that of like i've learned something i'd be like trying to be like alex jones singing <laughs> <laughs> by the way we so one thing i still want to do is i want to print out pictures of alex jones face and put it where like if someone peeked through my window they see alex jones looking back at him <laughs> uh f so robert said fwc puts in their hunting slash fishing handbook how much and how often freshwater fish should be consumed in florida waters due to mercury levels now that's something i do not understand at all it's like is mercury like a naturally occurring thing in fish or is that something that we fucked them up with i do you guys know i don't know uh casey said ashley how do you be happy. I just filled up a bin for you. Take stuff out of the bin. Let her out of the, the thing. She has freedom. She'll probably be happier. She gets mad at me. Okay. So answer Casey's question. Ashley, how do you get the soap to sud so well? All the other organic soaps I use, they don't uh, produce a lot of suds, but yours does. Yeah. See, uh, that was that was something I was noticing too with the, the ones that like that we brought down there, those ones were doing real well. I think like one of the very first bars we did, it didn't do as well. Uh, I wonder if it's the hot process versus the cold process. Um, I think so. 
I think the hot process does sud a lot better. Yeah. That's why I like it. And I don't know. I keep it really simple. Like I use coconut oil and I use olive oil and it works great. Like I do want to at some point get into um, doing different things, but right now I'm trying to keep it simple and it's just coconut oil and olive oil and it just works great together. It's simple. And my baby's being so cute right now. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works well. Kyle, um, what's up, man? Just stop in for a minute on the way to the gym. Right on, man. That's badass you're hitting it at night, dude. Everett, what's up, man? Let's see, Robert. Um, I wonder. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> and also because that has been in the FWC handouts for years now. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, Casey, does the hot process make the soap harder than the cold process? Um, I think it actually makes it a little softer. Yeah, I think so too. Cold process, you have to let it cure for like a month. And I don't think that's what necessarily makes the difference. Honestly, that's a good question. I really don't know. Yeah. I think the hot, hard I, I think the cold process definitely is harder. Yeah, that's something I'm interested in finding out when when the cold process steps we've done or that she did are done yeah. is um, is what it feels like with those compared. Well, but the, the man, those those recent ones, especially the black pepper one, like I'm surprised that was such a big hit. Yeah, like, I felt, <laughs> and I didn't mean to make it purple. The thing is, when when it goes through saponification in the crock pot. Sometimes it can change the colors of mm -hmm. the additives you add to it. Um, like I used the Moroccan clay one, which is more of like a brownish color. And it turned it to a very like pretty orange. And I was like, I mean, it turned out fine, but uh, it, it can change the color on you. Mm -hmm. Baby, you're freaking crazy. I know, you're just, so talkative. just chill out. Here, I'm just going to feed her Talk okay. right here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep the camera at this level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's turning into a smut show. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Scarlett's freaking weirding me out because she'll be feeding on Ashley and then she'll make eye contact with me. <laughs> it's like Hadley does it from across the room. She'll be eating, just like staring at me. I'm like, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> ah, Casey, your your message is keep getting retracted. Before I get a chance to read him, uh, Richard, time for old people to go to bed. Enjoy the nightlife. Good night, Rich. We'll talk to you soon, man. Thanks for stopping in. But yeah, um, so other thing we want to do with free will awakening that I'm finding out more. Wait, hang on, Casey. All right, the pepper one is harder than the purple one. The pepper one is the purple one. Is he talking about the sandalwood one? No, I thought pepper one was like fucking black at the top and white at the bottom. No, Casey only has the ones we brought to North Carolina. Yeah. We brought the pepper one and we brought sandalwood and we bought tree but brought tea tree. Yeah, I thought pepper was like what 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 does yours look like, Casey? What does the pepper one look like? Is the it black? Pepper one has like purple. Black and white. You're freaking high on crack. I don't even remember what Her I face mean. <laughs> is showing oodaloop so hard. She's like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, really? No, I swear. Okay. No, no, you're just wrong. It's purple. I'm going to be, I don't know. Oh, uh, what did I make? I don't even know. <laughs> What's in the soap? <laughs> uh, the tea tree is softer than the black pepper one. Oh, yeah, tea tree. Um, the tea tree has shea butter in it. I think that's what makes it softer. Oh, okay, okay. Which one do you like more? Um, but, like for qual like how it feels wise, not yeah. like scent. I keep uh, retracting the messages because I can't spell. Oh, <laughs> that's all right, man. Fucking <laughs> most of these messages, I, I'm like, I'm ad-libbing it because I know what they meant to say. <laughs> If your head looks huge at this angle. <laughs> your chin looks really long because you have a beard. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> um, so 
Um, okay, so another thing I want to do with Free Will Awakening is I want to talk about uh, the media aspect. I want to learn more about like the marketing side because there's a, you know, it's like a certain number of times. If you see that ad like seven times, after you see it that seventh time, you're like almost certainly going to buy the thing. Um, but with um, the way that Google takes and just cuts out certain websites and, and directs you towards certain ideologies and certain beliefs with your searches you know, it's like, it's funny because uh, back when I used to uh, argue with liberals on Facebook and now they've either deleted me or I actually did delete a couple. I was just tired of it. Um, I'm like, that. it takes a lot for me to be like, this isn't worth my energy. And it, it got to that point with a few of them. <laughs> but uh, but it would be funny because they would, they would be like, oh yeah, well, this is what it says. And it'd be like a Washington Post or, you know, one of those bullshit fucking news sources. Um but it's like if you try to search for something that like you know is true, it's not fucking there, and that's where you have to go to like a new browser. Um, also, I got a uh, a second phone, um, and hopefully I'll be able to get her dad on here talking about it. But we got you can get phones that they can't view you through the camera, they can't track you, and basically, as long as you don't log into any of your Google shit or whatever, it makes you much less trackable. Now, that being said, you know, um, surveillance technology is always going up. So you have to stay on top of it. But basically, you take the battery out of your phone and they can still view you through your camera. All right. Like they have a lot of power, uh, especially for surveillance. And even, uh, damn, what's that guy's name? I posted a, um, a meme about him. But there's the World Economic Forum people are now saying like surveillance is going to be uh, going underneath the skin. So think about facial recognition. Okay. Uh, Like John Willis was talking with me about this. Um, They can recognize the way your face is reacting as you see stuff. Right. So they'll be like, you know, if you like a certain thing, they'll show you more of that as you scroll. Uh, it's not just about the amount of time you spend looking at. It's about the way your face reacts. Um, you know, just think of, think about that, too. Um, now, as far as surveillance underneath the skin, uh, post-COVID microchips are something that have been talked about. I haven't researched it much, but, you know, that's something that's been talked about for a while, especially with COVID passports. So that's stuff we have to look out for. I hope this video doesn't get deleted because I'm talking about this. <laughs> yeah right let's see casey i feel i like the consistency of the black pepper soap after you get it wet yeah yeah that's the thing that's just olive oil and coconut oil and i really like as much fun as it is to be like i'm gonna add this i'm gonna add this like yeah if it's if it, it works, works like. now, have you tried lathering up and just turning off the shower and letting it kind of soak on your body for a while I wanted to try just like lathering up with it and just walking out and just wiping it off or something. Later. I feel like that's probably, I mean, I don't know. So but. what I've been doing is I'll lather up with it and I'll just kind of sit with it on my body and try to hope my skin absorbs it better. Cause I mean, like you do rub, like you can rub coconut oil on irritated skin and it will disinfect it. Like it's a good thing to use. I started using it with Hadley when she was a baby with rashes and I started doing that for myself and it made life way better. Da, da, da. Especially, especially if you've ever rubbed freaking uh, gold bond or some shit that just stings like crazy on your skin. <laughs> like the coconut oil is pretty awesome. I mean, you could try it, but I don't know. If you I really want to do an aloe, aloe soap. There's aloe in the tea tree one. Oh, really? Yeah, you just mix it with the lye along with your water. Can we do like a super aloe one? That'd be cool. I don't think that'll make the biggest difference. I think it'd be cool to do like a lotion with aloe in it. That'd be cool if we do. A I'd lotion. like to do that. Um, I want to get into like doing lotions, beard oils, and all of that. But like, I gotta take one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm like, okay, get your soap on the website before you start <laughs> making new things. <laughs> so, so Kyle asks, what do you guys recommend for shampoo and conditioner? Okay, so I want to make shampoo bars. And I think the only difference with a shampoo bar is you use a lower super fat percentage than you do with a body wash. So a super fat percentage is, so what I, from what I understand, it's 
the extra oil you add that doesn't get saponified by the lye because it's all about ratios like soap making is like chemistry um so i think you just have a way lower super fat percentage so basically that means there's less extra oil and it does a better job on stripping the oils from your skin so for example shampoo you want it to strip a lot of oils because you want like the like greasy feeling out of your hair you know Mm -hmm. um so i think that's all you do as far as conditioner i don't think you really need anything i think you just throw in like a tiny bit of oil in your hair when it's wet and like brush through it there's a there's a video i watched and the dude's like i don't shampoo or condition my hair and it's it's funny because like i never fucking use conditioner i like i can remember the last time i tried it like years ago and every time i do i'm like this doesn't fucking do anything Um, the thing is, is that with the shampoos and the conditioners you use, like, you know, especially the detergent type ones, not, you know, soap type, it kills the oil in your, in, on your, on your hairs. Right. And that's a natural thing that your body does. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, kind of like to get rid of the greasy hair and then, and then you get dandruff. Right. And then you have to use something else for dandruff and then conditioner and blah, blah, blah. Like I now I'll use the soap she makes because it's all healthy shit, Uh, but it's like sparingly. But I don't fucking use any shampoo or or any beard oil. I want I want her to make a beard oil and try it, you know, to keep this looking better without having to trim it. But yeah, um, you don't need shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, I've been using our bars of soap in my hair. Also, I do want to make one with a definitely a lower super fat percentage. Um, just cause I don't feel like it completely like, like I'm a woman, I want my hair to look a certain way. I just don't feel like it completely does it for me mm-hmm. hair wise, but I'm still like, I would rather use this and maybe my hair doesn't look as yeah. good but, as like, I want it. But again, like if you're ever out of all this stuff, hot, hot shower and a rag is all you really fucking need. Yeah. You know? Well, so I've heard, I tried this for a little bit, but one thing people recommend is apple cider vinegar to oh, yeah. wash your yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, try that. I didn't like it. Try it. You yeah. can try it, but yeah. I, I wasn't. The, the organic apple cider vinegar, like here, yeah. I'll go. Here, you keep talking. I'll go grab a bottle. So the apple cider vinegar one, I felt like it was a little irritating when it like touched my skin just because it's very acidic. Um, and I don't feel like it got, like, I felt like my hair still looked very greasy after using it. So I didn't really feel like, I mean, my hair still smelt good after it. Like the vinegar doesn't stay or anything, but it didn't strip the oils. Like I'd want it to this of my hair. Is, this is the one to get that, uh, that brag one. Uh, you can get this at Walmart, but yeah, if you watch any health food people, they always talk about it. You know, first thing in the morning, you put this in in some water, put some lemon and lime juice, and uh, a little bit of chili powder, maybe some some Redmond salt. Uh, if you haven't already done it, buy some Redmond salt. Uh, Casey, yeah, you were totally totally right about that shit. That shit is great. I've been putting it in my water every day. Fucking phenomenal. It tastes way better than regular sea salt too. Um, but yeah, that apple cider vinegar is for, good for everything, and um, I. I uh, put up a video on Instagram on how to make a, a, your own barbecue sauce um, at home, a healthy one. I use a little bit of that in there, just a little bit. Just add a little extra. Everett, I definitely want to take your pistol marksman class, bro. Yeah, man. So um, we put up a new class, and that's pistol skills one. Um, and then marksman, I put up a date for it. Ooh, before a couple I forget. Days. Chris sent you a message about the marksman. Scanlon or yes. Oh, okay, cool. Um, There's issues on the website. We need to fix the website. Fuck's sake! God damn it! <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate that. Love technology. <laughs> 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 fucking bullshit. Um, but yeah. Uh, pistol skills one. It's just about shooting a pistol faster and more accurate. And then, um, and then marksman is about. Owning everything to 300 yards with your rifle and beyond. Um, so they're they're very much skills classes, but there's you know still mindset and tactics behind it. But it's like way heavier on just like hey, let's get good at doing this shit, you know. Uh, is that a a Brax me phone? Okay. No, he, he's got oh, fuck. Where I don't even know where he it is takes right now. 
he What's buys phones, phones that, and he messes with them. Yeah, so he he sits on the computer and does shit to them to make them um, so that you're not going to be getting looked at through your phone and stuff. I mean, you can buy ones online, but his big thing is like if you don't know how to use it, it ain't gonna do nothing for you. So that's another thing well, he wants to do. To, yeah, start doing like Zoom. Yeah, lectures about yes, paid Zoom meetings and stuff. Uh, I think there's value to it, at least to learn about it. Um, and so we want to do some videos with him about it. Also, those would be on Free Will Awakening. And again, if you guys haven't subscribed, go subscribe to Free Will Awakening. Um, the that's in the description and it's pinned in the comments. Casey, is he installing Linux and removing Google? I don't fucking remember. I have to he have has something explain. he installs. I, I yeah, yeah, we. It looks. It, it's funny because like when you first power on the phone, it looks like oh well, it's broken. But no, it's just like that's just the normal thing. Um, is, they're all on Android phones, I think. Though. Yeah. You guys are motivating. Uh, our my motivation at the gym tonight versus metal. Oh, right on, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of metal you like, man? Again, um. My top three favorites. Oh, well, I've been listening to a lot more Megadeth, but also I've been listening to just podcasts, learning more than anything. But my top three metal bands, Lamb of God, Slayer, and usually All Shall Perish for that third one. That third one can get changed, though. Um, also, yeah, beginning of Megadeth. I'm not really that into Metallica anymore, but there's still Metallica I like. I used to really like Anthrax, uh, Campbell Corpse. Met those guys. Um, fucking, uh, there's a lot more, but Behemoth. We we saw the Black Dahlia murder before the singer died, which happened recently. Uh, seen Black Label Society several times. Shop for a Cowboy was always a big one for me. Yeah, uh, lots of bands I love. But who do you like? Shop for a cowboy, actually. We should do a, a video just on their Genesis EP because it they foreshadowed a lot of shit going on right now. Okay. You guys got any more questions? What piece of gear do you guys want to see out the most? I got I'm I need to finish those mag pouches, number one, but uh is there anything? That you guys really want to see. I was I was going over a few things uh, with Max over uh, some simple items I can make. I got some of the things to make it. Um, if uh, if Rich gets back on here, or if he watches this, I got the eyelets to make the thing he wanted too. I've got is probably my top. I'll listen to some slaughter to prevail while at the gym. Right. <laughs> Yeah, my fucking lamb got tattooed right here, man. <laughs> you know, it's the craziest thing when you have a baby. Like, they go from absolute just potatoes that lay there, and then all of a sudden you see them, like, standing and climbing things, and it's, like, scary. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fucking cute. Oh, my God. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, uh, in, or YouTube. Instagram and Facebook. It's all in the description. Um, as far as the free will awakening channel, we're going to be posting that video with Rev. It is a good fucking video. Rev is an awesome dude. Make sure you subscribe to him. Ammo mountain. Uh, and then I got another video coming out with, um, and he did a video with me. Um, we got another video coming out with Max Lazan, Max's path and, um, Jody weapons junkie. Subscribe to their channels. Uh, I did a video with Max also. Um, but, yeah, I got some vi good videos coming out with them. I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. Keep fighting communism. And remember that training saves lives.